Hello guys, I'm Giorgio De Murtas and uh, today we are on the roof of my house to make an heliostat. An heliostat uh, is uh, a mirror uh, which uh, automatically moves to reflect the sunlight always in the same direction. So here what, um, what I want to do is uh, uh, to always reflect the, the sun towards uh, over there on a, on a building that is over there uh, which has some uh, windows uh, facing north so they don't get much light and uh, my sister lives there and uh, we're trying uh, if we can make her uh, uh, kitchen uh, brighter and warmer uh, with the sunlight and uh, to do this uh, what I have here is a, is a two axis uh, actuator uh, with the DC motors and the flat mirror on top uh, and uh, we need a, a control system to control the, the motors so that the, the mirror is always oriented as it should uh, which means that as the sun moves uh, the mirror should uh, uh, adjust its position uh, in order for the reflected uh, uh, sun beam to go always in the, in the same direction and uh, to do this uh, control I'm going to use uh, a control system which I normally use uh, to control uh, the photovoltaic solar panels so uh, let's go downstairs and uh, make a drawing of uh, how this uh, reflection uh, should look like a little bit of theory and uh, and I will show you the the control system and then we will come back uh, out, outside and uh, uh, connect uh, all the wires together and see if we can uh, achieve our goal so let's imagine the the sun is here and uh, uh, the sunbeam is going this way and here we have our target and we want to reflect the sun like this so the our mirror is here and uh, the position of the mirror should be uh, like this so we have this angle between the the sun and the target uh, and uh, the mirror should be perpendicular to a plane which is uh, splitting this uh, uh, angle in two. Uh, so in this way the um, so so this means so this means that uh, the when the sun moves uh, one degree in this direction the mirror should move half degree uh, but uh, we don't really need to look at uh, how many degrees is the sun moving and uh, measuring the, the actual mirror position because uh, uh, we're going to use a control loop which is only looking at the reflected uh, beam uh, therefore we will position a sun direction sensor here And uh, this sensor will uh, uh, adjust, will tell the, the controller to move the, the mirror if the sun uh, beam, uh, the reflected sun beam is uh, not going exactly through through the sensor with the uh, with zero angle. Now I don't the, the target is uh, quite far away, about 100 meters, so I don't know if the uh, accuracy of this sensor and the, the mechanical accuracy of this. Uh, uh, dual axis uh, motor is uh, sufficient but uh, we're gonna try and approximately I uh, I want to achieve a, 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 an, a, an accuracy in hitting the target of, of about a half meter and uh, the mirror has a half meter diameter and I expect the, the reflected beam to diverge uh, while uh, going to the target so it will make uh, maybe a two meter diameter uh, shiny uh, point on the on the target uh, I did um, we can do a, a calculation to to see what uh, what accuracy we need and this will be um, basically like this we have the if we have a, a certain uh, angle 
uh, theta of tracking accuracy and the distance d. Uh, we can calculate a as uh, d times uh, the sinus or the tangent is the same for these small angles of theta. And uh, theta is our tracking accuracy. In my case, uh, with the sensor I made, I can reach uh, uh, I can reach this, but will actually use less because that would require the sen the motor to move uh, too often. So three hundredths of a, of a of a degree. But uh, okay, let's stop with the theory and uh, let's get into it and see if it works. Uh, this one is the the control system I have set up. Uh, we have a, a control. Uh, we have a control board which I made, and uh, here we connect the sun direction sensor, and uh, these four relays uh, they control the motors, up, down, east, west, and uh, here I have a, a transformer to make uh, 12 volts DC for. Um, for the motors, uh, it is uh, five ampere uh, capable, and and the relays also are ten ampere. But uh, I think that the motors I use they consume much less than that, and that's what you want uh, when working with solar energy. Uh, you want to spend as little energy as possible on uh, moving the the solar panels or moving the the mirror. So um, let's go outside and uh, measure uh, what actually the motor is consuming and try to control the motor uh, manually and have a look at the target uh, the reflection on the target ah here is a emergency stop we'll switch off everything i just use it as a switch to turn on and off let's go outside i brought the power supply outside uh, let's put it on uh, 12 volts these motors can also run at 24, but 12 will uh, will run slower. And uh, here I have the four uh, terminals of the two motors, and uh, I want to see how much current they, they draw. I don't know which. I hope this is the one of the correct one. Actually, they consume really little. Only. 0.2 ampere. Let's try the other one. Yeah. So definitely my control system current capability is overdimensioned. But uh, that's okay. That's I just used what I had. It was meant for bigger trackers. Let's uh, let's try to control it manually, like disconnecting the wires and uh, point the the reflected sun beam to the to the target. The, the target I'm aiming at is that the green wall on top of the stairs on, on that building. I think I can, uh, the reflected beam can uh, go through these uh, panels here. So it moves quite slowly. Let's speed it up, Give more voltage. You can already see the reflected uh, beam there on the window. Looks like I have to move it lower and to the left. That's the other way.
Do you see it? On the back of the panel. Look the mirror deformation when I push on a corner of this wooden plate. It will make the reflection oval. Uh, this window is a bit in between, but will be closed afterwards. I just don't want to get the light into other people's house and just want to target the, the wall crazy one I see it on the solar panels of my neighbor See it on the wall? It's rising up. It's not that bright on the on the wall. I want to move it. Uh, do you see over there on the? There is that uh, green uh, vertical uh, <coughs> box. There are the, the stairs of the building and uh, the beam is just uh, uh, on the right side. I'm moving it to the top. Yeah, there it is. Um, I expected it to be more bright actually. Maybe I should clean the mirror. Mm, it looks quite dusty. Wanna have a look? I don't know if you can see but it is dirty. I will clean it. So you might have noticed I changed the my t-shirt from black to white because out here is really warm something like 28 29 degrees uh, Celsius and it is uh, 15 of uh, May 2017 in Sardinia it can be quite warm in a, in a sunny day like today Okay, <laughs> I think I'm not the best one at cleaning mirrors. It looks like a bit uh, brighter now that I, I've cleaned the mirror. Do you see it uh, over there shining? Now let's uh, connect the, the sensor to make it work automatically. 
and uh, I will also measure the, the distance from here to the to the wall there and uh, and uh, put the numbers into the, the equations to to have an estimate of the pointing uh, accuracy. And uh, I think we will uh, make the I think we will make the, the rest of the tests uh, in the afternoon uh, when the when that uh, facade of the building is uh, on the shadow. Now there is the sun on it, so it's it's not very clear to to see where the reflected beam is. It will be better in the afternoon. See you. Now this, uh, this window here. Yeah, it's, uh, it's compensating for the sun movement. <laughs> <laughs>